he starts talking to me about the GPS on our phones, which I find interesting because the Lord will use certain things that we are familiar with many times to try to teach us something he wants us to understand. And so this is what he says about this. The GPS on our phones, he's he's talking to me and I'm just, I'm translating it this way. We have a tendency to listen to the GPS and do what it says. When it tells us to make a turn, we make a turn. When it tells us to merge, we merge. Although Chris many a times has enjoyed trying to argue with the GPS while we have been in the car, which has been a strange position for me to be in. For the most part, it gives a route and we follow it. And if we miss a turn, the GPS says, what does it say? Rerouting and reroutes us to get to the same destination, although it may make our trip longer. We have tendencies to trust the judgment of the GPS over the directions of Almighty God, who sees all capital things, every obstacle, every challenge, every event, and can navigate navigate us accordingly. And if we take a wrong turn, make a wrong choice, go down the wrong road, the Lord will reroute us. And we may have to go a different way to get to the same destination, though it may take a little longer, we will still reach it. This nation of America took a wrong turn, a very, that's capitalized, wrong turn from its founding foundations. And now the Lord thy God is rerouting this nation. He has to now take it a different direction than before to reach the destination at hand. And it is taking a little longer because we must go a different way. That has more turns than before. And it is his capital navigation that will ultimately bring us to the appointed time and events he, that's capitalized, has set. No matter the detours and roadblocks, man and their babbles, their empires, the work of their hands have built, the Lord knows how to navigate around such and not allow it to block the journey. And we as his, that's capitalized, children must listen to this navigation. We must be diligent in hearing, sober-minded and vigilant in actually doing and implementing the instruction he is giving. Because some of it over the next year and a half will not make sense to the natural eye. The turns, the events, the circumstances, the rerouting will not, that's capitalized, make sense in the natural. However, if you seek the Lord for the course in the spirit, to see the map and the and the route in the spirit or route, you will understand what others do not. You will be able to explain beyond what others are limited in. 